Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you had a good day in the market. February 23rd, 2022. SPY is come down quite a bit more today, 1.5%. And a lot of that's Russia. Russia headlines, sanctions on Russia. Um, TAY though, it's kind of interesting. It's getting close to this 420 wick down here. We'll see if it holds. Everything's still bearish on it um, on the daily, four hour. The hourly was starting to show some divergences here with the RSI, but then this drop lower kind of blew that one out. So, um, yeah, looking for a bounce at 420. If not, it's it's gonna keep going down. Probably pretty aggressive. Uh, got gaps to fill down here. Maybe slow down around 400. And find support there, uh, and then. Yeah, could be a could be a long ways down spy. Kind of kind of uh anticipating this for a year. And now it's finally seeming to happen. Um got out of this range we we're trading in and we'll see. Next few days will be interesting. I am expecting probably a bounce. Uh really depends on just news with Russia. Uh if they invade. If they invade it it might be bad for a couple days and then a bounce actually. Um, but yeah, GameStop kind of just getting dragged down with it. Uh, it's it's performed actually quite well considering how bad the rest of the market is. Um, if you think about it, it's only down 2.3%. You know, some of these days back here, pretty recently we've had, you know, seven, eight, 10% days down. And the market wasn't doing all that bad on those days. Let's see, 127. That was kind of a down day. But yeah, today's a, today's a big day on SPY. Big range because it started up gapped up uh, pre-market and then big range down. Um, GameStop still bullish on the daily though. Bearish on four hour and shorter time frames. Um, the fact that we didn't hold that support, eh, we maybe could come down a little more. Just looking at TA, that said, if they start covering because of options exposure or whatever, all the bearish indicators will flip bullish in a hurry. There won't be uh, won't be much time on that. Today we've got about 45 minutes left. Um, and honestly, we can see action, I think, till still today, till the, till the bell and even in the after hours. Probably not expecting after hours moves, but you never know. Um, I picked quite a day to get a loan and go into GME. So I was actually shorting puts with it. Closed those out and got shares. Um, and again, just gonna roll covered calls up with shares for a couple reasons. One is your returns are, are better. Um, it's not as safe, but you you do get better returns, it seems, as well as with short puts, say if I'm shorting a put at 115 and the stock goes to 160, and I'm like, okay, great, I'll roll it. I can't short puts at 115 for the same premium once it's at 160, so to keep that 35 delta or whatever delta I want to short the put at, it has to be higher strike, and higher strike costs more uh more margin because i'm agreeing to buy the shares of that strike with calls covered calls and owning shares I, I buy the shares here and i do cover calls on the way up and my cost based on my shares never has to rise so <clears throat> that as well as just being able to capitalize on the upside shorting puts i think is probably probably better for down downward moves if you can just keep it outside the range and then covered calls um actually going to the upside which is interesting but yep this this week it could it could still be big i know today was kind of demoralizing a lot of a lot of expectations for price action um <laughs> ryan cohen did tweet green shorts last night i, I didn't even pay attention to see till this morning but um I don't, I don't quite know why they picked green shorts. I think on Android it wasn't green, they were orange. But uh, some of the speculation is what shorts are dead if you do the emojis backwards, because today's shorts, the last emoji before that was pirate flag, which would be R, and then the one before that was uh, the skull. It's kind of the dead, dead emoji. Shorts are dead. Uh, Shorts are green though, so shorts are doing or making money during the green. It's kind of a lot of uh, not not exactly sure 
why he chose green, but um, I think news will will be dropping soon actually on GameStop. Let me show you guys what I shared on here. First of all, yeah, this fail to deliver. Um, even some media is picking it up. 1350%. This got released, I think, pretty recently. Because it's 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 way delayed the data we get. Um, so that ripped up a lot. Actually, this is really interesting. Let's see if I can, yeah. So this gives comparables. Shares failing to clear increased from 1,600 to 23,000 in the second half of January. The latest data available. Fails deliver even climbed as high as 152,000 during the period. The huge number of shares failing to clear stands in contrast to modest figures at companies far larger than GameStop. Here are the fails to deliver for some of the largest companies in the market at the end of the reporting period. This was the first kind of data stat that I saw um, a year ago on GameStop where I'm like, that is peculiar where GameStop basically had, I think it was like, had the most failed delivers in the entire stock market. It was a ridiculous amount <laughs> more than everything else. Um, so Google, Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, uh, Google has 27,000, Amazon zero, Apple zero, Microsoft zero, Tesla 48,000. So why would GameStop, this small company, few shares, small market cap, brick and mortar have so many failed to delivers. Um, negative short selling is generally, is the generally illegal practice of selling shares short. You never borrowed the trade can't clear because a share never existed in the first place. Sometimes failed delivers happen for benign reasons, such as clerical errors, but they can also be signs of naked short selling. That's why there is um, failed to delivers. Clerical type errors, not meant to be abused, but it has been. So yeah, that, that data came out, which uh, it's the, the shorts basically haven't covered. I mean, there's, there's not, there's a huge massive short position on GameStop and we haven't seen we haven't seen them close it it's only gotten bigger and stretched out longer pull this one up GameStop's bouncing a little bit same with spy I mean it's, it's just been basically attached to spy that said it's it's held up not too bad though really I mean spy's not a huge down day today but the supports it broke through um 427 on spy Kind of big. Same with GameStop, though. That support it broke through was kind of a big deal. Okay, yeah, a couple interesting things here. Ryan Coast 693 is a pair of shorts on 222222222. The date from the developer applicant's acceptance email. Yeah, so yesterday I think was the last day um, that NFT Marketplace creators could submit their work. The kind of the launch creators or the, I guess, the initial run of creators. Um, this is interesting though. Also, computer share has GME listed as a drip account now. Probably nothing. I haven't confirmed this. I don't have a computer share account. Uh, if you have one, you can confirm in the chat, in the comment section. But, uh, yeah, drip would mean that <laughs> if there wasn't one before and now all of a sudden they've changed it to a drip account to where you can actually enable drip or, you know, potentially in the future enable drip, that is, uh, that means a dividend is most likely coming unless it's, a uh, some sort of error on their part for changing it. There's no reason that they would change it, in my opinion, unless if there was a dividend coming. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty neat. One other interesting thing that has happened. Android. The Android uh, app. So I have an Android, and yeah, I can't find GameStop. If I search on the Play Store, I can't find it. It's not even showing up on there the app still works i still have the app on my phone everything's functioning fine um this is kind of interesting though here so either gamestop removed it or google did if google if google i believe they also at least give a warning that it should be removed typically it's for malicious or illegal app this points to gamestop themselves being the ones that removed it that's a good point because I, I think this is saying that google would actually warn you, if you had the app, that you should remove it because it's malicious. App still working, everything's good. Shout out to Rex Hex. So yeah, potentially a new app is coming out. It's gonna have this NFT marketplace or something. I don't know that for them to remove it from the Play Store is a big deal. I mean, they're getting 
tons of downloads every day. They're, they don't want to just have it off the app store for any period of time. So something big, I, I think, is coming and very, very soon. Um, I can't see them having it down more than at least a, maybe a day or two. I wouldn't imagine it down more than a day, honestly. I'm going to check real quick right now just to see if it's back up. No, so when I search GameStop, it's GameStop Conference. It's a whole other, totally different app. GameStop's not even on here. So, very cool stuff um, on our on our long term that I got the loan and put put money in for GME. So I sold, I closed, or I bought to close my short puts and just bought shares of GME today, down three percent on them. Um, I'm gonna wait a little bit before I start selling covered calls and I'll probably be selling the 35 Delta which should get me pretty good returns annualized I think it was like well it depends on how far back you date it but um, I think it was like 150 percent or 200 percent you give it a year time frame back testing it's 213 percent that's weekly covered calls with the 35 Delta um, Rolium Weekly. So we'll see. That's that account. And then didn't do a whole lot. <laughs> Messed with some spy options today. Almost did well. Actually, I went in pretty heavy right here. Um, where I was up like two or 300 on calls and then it just dumped. I think someone was talking. This guy was talking at the White House or whatever for a long time today. And it was that was this whole down period. Just talking about sanctions and the market really didn't like it. Um... Yeah, spy in and out. Played a few times. Average down a slightly on my GME calls, 160 end of March. The premiums haven't really dropped off a whole lot if you think about how kind of how much it's consolidated and come down since I bought these like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. So these are still looking good. I still have a lot of exposure for this week. 155, 170 calls, 132, 175 calls. These are debit spreads. 131, 160 call debit spreads. This is kind of the safest one, but still needs some uh, green price action to break even on this one too. And then this put credit spread, which I'll be rolling if we don't, it doesn't expire worthless, which would be ideal. That'd be 145 by Friday. We could get to 145 in just a few minutes, honestly. Wouldn't take long. So that's what I got for you guys. Keep your chin up. Um, the more spy comes down and this war and invasions, and GME tanking with it, it just, to me, it looks more like a Volkswagen setup for a squeeze. Very interesting how it's just comically similar in the way it's kind of setting up. Also, if we don't get the price action we're expecting before March, before their earnings, um, to me, that doesn't mean, oh, okay, all the shorts closed, we just missed it somehow. Um, what I'm seeing then is that the squeeze is on because the can kicking we've been seeing all year with each one of these little pinches, that's just been them pushing this down the road and can kicking this short position, this over leveraged position. Uh, so if the cycle basically stops, that's kind of the best thing, honestly. Um, not to say we can't have the cycle and then that turns into the squeeze, but if, it's, if something's different is happening, that could be basically the uh, the beginning or the, the signs of the squeeze and we've already seen something different since back here when we dropped through that support um, That was the first sign that something different's happening and now with If this potentially doesn't happen, which I'm still expecting it to before March 22nd some price action at least 150 But maybe higher maybe much higher if that doesn't happen then I will have to assume um, That yeah, they are they're posturing to just close and however they can do that I don't know I don't know if we'll keep trying to drop it down or, or what exactly but along with that we have this bullish news coming out and they probably know that too so they're getting prepared for that whether it's either closing or cane kicking um, I'm down either way thanks guys for watching we'll see you on discord have a good afternoon peace out